Projekt Moderní vinař vzdělávání pro úspěch na současném trhu je spolufinancován z Evropského sociálního fondu a státního rozpočtu České republiky. So whether you are a big company or a small company, a small wine producer, everyone can benefit from the promotion you get when visitors who come to your winery talk to their friends, their family, even their acquaintances. And we call this word of mouth marketing. And uh, one of the things I'd like to sort of talk about today is the five T's, the five words that start with the letter T, to help you to uh, get people talking about your brand, about your winery. The first T is talkers. You need to identify the people who are willing to talk about your brand with others. Now, of course, these are your customers, but don't forget um, these influencers or these people who are very active on blogs or on forums. Uh, and also don't forget the local people such as taxi drivers and hotel reception staff. These are people who might be asked by tourists, where should I go for the afternoon to try and great wine? And you want them to be able to talk about you and recommend your winery uh, to these people. The second T is uh, topics. You actually have to give people a reason to talk about your wine. Now, is it because you have made wine from a, an unusual grape variety? Is it because your wine has won a prestigious award in one of the competitions? Uh, is it because you have a new approach to uh, environmental management in your vineyards? Um, give people a reason to talk about you, otherwise they will forget you very quickly. The third T of the five T's of word of mouth marketing is tools. And tools are the things that can help you to spread your message further and more quickly. And of course, in the age of the internet, we have many tools. Uh, for example, Facebook, we have uh, Twitter, we have forums, and all these sorts of things can help you to uh, spread your message. And on this point, perhaps I can recommend one book. It's called Wine Marketing Online. It's very recent. It was published in 2013. The title, How to Use the Newest Tools of Marketing to Boost Profits and Build Brands. Um, this is a step-by-step -step, uh, process for how to generate excellent word of mouth online, perhaps through the various uh, tools such as Facebook, Twitter and so on. So tools will help you to spread your message quickly. The other, uh, perhaps slightly more controversial part, is taking part or participating in the conversation. How do you do that? It might be that your website has um, it might be that your website has a forum and people write and talk about their experiences. Maybe sometimes you even get complaints. You might even get negative publicity. But this book here, Word of Mouth Marketing, written really by one of the world's leading word of mouth marketers, Andy Cernowitz, he speaks about these opportunities to help customers, if they've had a bad experience, to perhaps have good things to say on their next visit. The other thing, and it's, uh, let's say, a very corrupt part of marketing, is what is known as stealth marketing. It's where you pretend to be ordinary customer talking the, about brilliant things from your winery, whereas, in fact, this is really dangerous. If people find out that you are just a person pushing your own brand and hiding behind some hidden identity, this is a terrible situation. So really, if you are participating in online forums or discussions, be honest. Say that you are a representative of your winery and be open to a conversation about that. So taking part is the fourth T of word of mouth marketing. And finally, and maybe most importantly, the fifth T is tracking. Tracking means monitoring or measuring the conversations online because every marketing activity somehow must be measurable. And it's always good to get an idea if your word of mouth marketing campaigns are really paying off. 
So please remember the five T's once again. Talkers, this is the first T. These are the, your customers and other people who are talking about your brand. Topics, give people a reason to talk about you. Third, tools, online tools. Uh, fourth, taking part or participating in the conversation, but always be honest about who you are as a representative of your winery. And finally, tracking, measuring uh, what people are saying and the kind of traffic you're getting online. Hopefully with these five T's of word of mouth marketing, you can have very effective campaigns to help people spread the word about the wonderful things you're doing in your winery.